Hey, pleasant good morning to you. Disputes. Yes, disputes. Uh, listen to this text in Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 20, 32. It says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. Hey, gentlemen, I'm speaking especially to you. Be careful how you settle disputes. Many times, ladies, when they have a conflict or a dispute, they speak a lot about it. And just by speaking a lot about it to whoever, it seems to me that it diffuses the situation. They may not have an amicable settlement, something, a settlement that they want. But just by speaking about it, like they get it out of the system. We as men need to learn from ladies. Further, many times, ladies don't fight. And if they do fight, they live to see another day when men fight because of a dispute. Sometimes one goes to the funeral home and the other one goes up to prison. We have to stop that. We have to try our best. Uh, not like primitive people, not like cavemen. We have to try our best to settle disputes in an amicable way. Uh, one of the good ways is to bring in a third party who both of you trust who you will listen to the person's advice or counsel and go through with it from there. And sometimes don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry to get a solution quick because sometimes when you're in a hurry to get a solution quick, you end up doing wrong things. Further, uh, try to control your anger. The text says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Uh, listen, there are times refocus. Don't focus on what this person has done to you and what you will do to get back at them. No, that's the way of the devil. Don't do that. The way of the Lord is that I must pray for my enemy. I must pray for those who despitefully use me and persecute me. I got to be careful about that. Yeah, because listen, sometimes there are situations where we make a big fuss about something. And when we back away from it and think back, we realize that that's not called for. The cussing out and the pulling cutlass, it's not called for, right? Uh, listen, they had three sons of a man in the Middle East. The man had camels, he had 17 camels. And here it is that he said to them before he died, when I die, I would like the first child to get one third of the camels, the second one, uh, to get, no, the first child to get one half of the comments, the second child to get one third, and the last child to get one ninth. Those sons, father died, they buried him quickly, and they came together. And when they came together to divide the comments, one half, one third, and one ninth, it wasn't working out. Them fellas get vexed and they draw a knife on one another. But then the oldest one said, hold a while, brothers, hold a while, let us wait. Daddy used to go to a wise old lady and bring her when we have disputes and get advice from her. Let us go to her. So they went to the wise old lady with the problem. The wise old lady heard the problem of the 17 camels. She said, you know what? I think I can help you. You see my camel in the yard, take it and go with it. They took the camel and went with it. And so they did the division now. A half of 18, nine. That's for the first son. He took his camels. Uh, then a third of 18, right? One third of 18, six. He took his six. And then one ninth of 18, right? He got two, right? He took his two. And then they looked and realized that there was an extra camel. Well, the extra camel was the lady's camel. They took it back. She said, sons, y'all settle it? They said, yes. You see what they did? They didn't hurry to be violent against each other. They went and sought counsel from a wise, godly person. Let us try our best, men especially, to settle disputes in a peaceful way so that we can live to see another day. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day, I pray, and help especially men to settle disputes in a peaceful manner. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you.